In 1932, French instrument manufacturer Selmer joined forces with Italian luthier and designer Mario Maccaferri to create the Gypsy Jazz Guitar, affectionately known as the Grande Bouche or Big Mouth, which is a direct translation. The D-shaped sound hole lent itself to greater projection and volume. You have to remember, before the advent of amplification, players were hungry to get greater volume out of their instruments to project over the ambient noise in the old dance halls in Europe. Paired to the larger sound hole and an internal resonator chamber, this guitar did just that. The relationship between Mario Maccaferri and Selmer only lasted two years, but the guitars are still known as Sel Max or Selmer Maccaferri or simply Maccaferri guitars, really just giving a nod to the designer more so than the manufacturer. The Selmer company continued to create the Gypsy Jazz guitars well into the 50s, and created different iterations of the guitar, namely the Petite Bouche or Model Jazz guitar, which was really made famous and has become synonymous with Django Reinhardt. Selmer moved ahead with their own iterations without the input of Mario Maccaferri and closed up the sound hole, removed the internal resonator box, and extended the scale length of the guitar to about 670 millimeters. We also have a 14 fret connection compared to a 12 fret connection on the original model. Other notable features on the McAfee guitar are the floating bridge, the mustache ends which really added a stylistic component, the slotted headstock, and unlike their American counterparts of the time, such as Martin, instead of an X brace, the McAfee guitar featured ladder bracing on the soundboard. Departing once again from the American jazz guitars of the time, while the McAfee guitar does feature an arch top, it is not a carved top. Instead, the soundboard was folded or bent to create the arch, often referred to as the pliage or the fold behind the saddle. The guitar that you're going to be making in this course is my own design, which is kind of a hybrid of the two guitars. We'll be focusing on a D-shaped sound hole without an internal resonator chamber and a 14 fret connection with a longer scale length of 670 millimeters for a nice bright tone, a crisp attack, and an instrument that is well suited to both rhythm and lead players. I'm extremely excited about this course and working alongside you while you build something beautiful.